Hi guys, it's Mark from Totally Silence Tech. As you know, normally I put out reviews on my channel. Reporting the news isn't normally my thing, but I'm so excited about the new lineup of Zen CPUs being released by AMD, I thought it would be great to have a discussion in the comments section, as a new lineup of Zen CPUs are unbelievable once you compare the price to performance. Originally, AMD's stated goal with Ryzen was a 40% IPC, in case you're wondering, IPC is the amount of operations a CPU can do with each clock. As it turns out, AMD have beaten their original goal, hitting 52%, so it looks like Ryzen will have more than enough processing power to take on Intel, and they're doing it at a significantly reduced price. So what does this all mean for us? Well, possibly a price war between AMD and Intel. Intel. Intel's prices may have to come down significantly to stay competitive, and that is only a good thing no matter what side of the fence you are on. I have my fingers crossed in high hopes that the benchmarks I've seen so far hold up, although let's face it, it wouldn't be the first time a company has tweaked results in their favour. Only time will tell, personally I would like to see some more single threaded tests. Hopefully I will have a new Ryzen build coming up on the channel very soon as well as motherboard reviews and maybe even some overclocking results. The channel is going to go full AMD mode very soon. Then we'll be able to see how well a new Ryzen CPU can hold up against its closest Intel rival. AMD have announced three CPUs in the Ryzen lineup. All of them have 8 cores and 16 threads. It's a bit of a shame there wasn't a budget option with 4 cores and 8 threads. Maybe there will be one a little later on throughout the year. The first CPU they've announced though is the 1800X, the most expensive of the three. The 1800X has a base clock of 3.6 boosting to 4GHz. AMD tested the 1800X against the 6900K in Cinebench and it not only matched it in single core performance, but it beat it out by 9% in multi-threaded tests. But here's the kicker, it's priced at 500 US dollars or 488.99 UK pounds. The 1800X is priced less than half the amount of Intel 6900K. The next CPU that AMD announced in the Ryzen lineup was the 1700X. It has a 3.4 GHz base clock, boosted into 3.4 8 gigahertz with a minuscule 95 watts of TDP priced at 399 US dollars and 389.99 UK pounds AMD put it up against Intel's $500 6800K it was 39% faster and totaled a massive 1537 in a multi-threaded Cinebench test the last CPU AMD announced was the R7 1700, priced at 325 US dollars and 300 UK pounds. It has a 3 gigahertz base clock and a 3.7 gigahertz boost clock, with only 65 watts of power consumption. Not only is it going to be cheaper than the 7700K, its direct competitor in Cinebench on a multi-threaded test, it stomped all over the 7700K with a final score of 1000. 410. Wrapping up this video now, as a summary, AMD have hopefully finally risen from the ashes and Intel has some serious pricing problems right now. If you're a fan of AMD or Intel, Ryzen is only going to be a good thing no matter which side of the fence you decide to sit on. Hope you've enjoyed the video guys, if this video does well, gets loads of likes, loads of comments etc, I may do more videos like this in the future. It's not normally my normal style of video I know, I'm just so excited about Ryzen it just had to be done. I've been Mark from Totally Silence Tech, goodbye.